Hi everyone, welcome to TSUN Digital. My name is Amy and today I'm joined by Brad Hunt, who is the CEO of Brines, a data management technology solutions provider who is sponsoring the Summit for Asset Management East Coast. Welcome, Brad. It's great to have you. Thank you. Hi, Amy. Thanks for having me. No, it's a pleasure. So obviously it's nice to have you here before the event, you know, just to give us a little glimpse into what your work is involving and, you know, just a little snapshot into what you'll be speaking about at the event itself. Um, so just to set the scene and just to introduce any viewers who aren't familiar with you, could you tell us a little bit about your role and a little bit about what your company offers? Sure thing. Uh, so Brad Hunt, um, CEO of Rhymes. I've been CEO of Rhymes for 15 months. Um, I've spent the my entire career really working with the asset management community, with, with banks, with uh, service providers in data and uh, capital market services as well as technology and and really through that time i've developed a i think a pretty detailed understanding of the you know the the, the front middle and back office and i've always really enjoyed leveraging data and technology to deliver solutions right through throughout my my rather long career and so that's really the mindset um that i've installed at rhyme since i since i arrived we now have a very strong management team that uh, mirrors my experience and ensures that Rhymes really has the strength um, and 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 the depth of experience required to support our cl clients' evolving needs and most importantly, I think engineer solutions um, and strategic solutions for our clients. Um, so, you know that approach for us so far um, is uh, seems to be working. We've made a lot of investment and, and additions to to the Rhymes sort of core products and service suite, and we've expanded that solution set, if you will, um, to offer a much broader set of, um, uh, of, of, of solutions and, 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 and hope, you know, our hope is to, to solve a broader set of problems for our clients. And so, for example, you know, Rhymes has now uh, been chosen to be the exclusive provider of index and benchmark data services into the State Street Alpha platform and all of their clients. We've won several large transformational deals um, and mandates, um, both in Europe and the U.S., uh, and even in the APAC region. And, you know, importantly, um, for those that know Rhymes, Rhymes is now replacing legacy uh, technology, uh, EDM systems, uh, and data architectures is really helping define sort of new operational processes around data management. And that's something that uh, I think we're keen to share uh, with, uh, with the attendees at, at TSAM. So I'm really looking forward to being there in New York uh, in, in, in October. And I'm very excited to meet people face to face. It's been a long time and uh, I enjoy that. So we can share a lot more detail and elaborate on some of the things I just mentioned uh, when, we're, uh, when we're live in person at the event uh, in October. So thank you for the opportunity to participate. And for those watching the video, I look forward to meeting you. Come up and say hello. That's fantastic. No, it's really good. And as you say, you'll kind of dive into everything in a bit more depth at the event. But just to take a step back, because you mentioned about the evolving client needs, could you just tell us a little bit about some of those challenges that your buy side clients are facing when it comes to operations, data and technology? And then obviously you can get a bit more into the solutions at the event itself. Sure, absolutely. So look, at a very high level, everybody knows this, um, you know, it's all about empowering the front office so that the front office can drive investment performance, differentiate, uh, themselves to their clients and really improving efficiency um, to deliver sort of that operation operating leverage uh, that is necessary so but if you sort of unwind that a little bit um, you know data remains to be the uh, the core of everything um, and despite all of the technology innovations and, and and advances that we hear about you know those challenges continue to be significant for our clients just start with the most basic um, functions, right? Data onboarding, right? Sourcing data uh, from many, many sources, structuring that data, permissioning and entitlements, making sure that you've got those in place, and then validating the data, shaping it, and transforming it into um, a, a state that is uh, usable. Uh, those remain challenging. And I think especially so as firms sort of grow their kind of quantitative uh, bench, uh, and trying to generate alpha from newer data sets and expand sort of their portfolio, their investable universe, if you will, across different asset classes. So, you know, firms, for example, are grappling with, you know, an ever increasing tidal wave of new data sets. ESG is a great example, right? It's relatively nascent. 
uh, and it's throwing up lots of challenges. So, you know, that's one area. Um, data remains a challenge. I think the next challenge, I'll keep going. Um, we'll talk more about this in October, but, you know, the next challenge is getting the data in the right shape so that it's in the right qualitative state uh, to a growing community of end users or consumers of the data internally. I mentioned front, middle, back. Use cases uh, are very different across all of those um, all of those areas, and so often we find uh, with our clients that you know legacy data architectures and systems were not really designed for the modern use cases, um, and this creates distribution problems. It creates access problems, and really, you know, I suppose our ethos at Rhymes, my ethos is that you know systems shouldn't really define those data structures and use cases and usage. Uh, types, but really the business output uh, and the business purpose should define um, those data structures and, and 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 usage cases. So that's really what we've been we set out to do and what we're doing, which is to design solutions that allow, obviously, the business need uh, and the business output to to define you know what those solutions are. And we'd like to think um, that you know we've developed a um, a suite of services and capabilities that allow our clients to do that. Um, there are lots of challenges. I'll talk about a few more and and and, uh, and then we can continue. But, you know, I just thought it would be worth mentioning that, you know, our clients uh, are embracing the cloud. The cloud holds out some promise, definitely some promise in reducing systems complexity um, and then onboarding onto a fewer set of systems. So it definitely leads to efficiency uh, and, 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 and solve some of those distribution and access challenges I mentioned earlier. But the full adoption of the cloud introduces new challenges um, for our clients, and we're starting to see a lot more of that. Um, for example, our, you know, our clients need uh, curated data uh, to be provisioned into uh, these cloud environments. It needs They need history. It needs to be cleansed. It uh, needs to be accurate. Um, and, and it also the cloud also does throw up licensing issues as well, which many people would be familiar with. But this is another area where we're spending a lot of time, you know, with our clients and helping them make that transition so they, they can get the most out of that cloud transition and realize, you know, the promise really that the cloud offers. So the final area really of challenges is sort of marrying all of the external market data and, 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 and with position state and transactions data. So, um, you know, without the knowledge of the underlying positions, uh, our client and exposures really, uh, it's you know it, it it renders the external market data somewhat somewhat meaningless. So we focus on combining uh, those data sets together um, to create a sort of a master um, eyebore, if you will, and um, and then apply uh, that um, investment intelligence. Um, look through capabilities, fund exposures, you know, so that clients can do rebalances and some of those front office activities that I mentioned um, and, and, and allows business users, uh, um, it equips them with the, uh, the right information in the right state um, that is up to date, almost real time, in many cases, to make the right decisions, the investment decisions and actually implement those decisions. So these are the uh, th th these are the areas that you know we see as challenges. There's many more which we can talk about uh, again in, in in New York. I think the good news is the industry is ripe for change. Most firms are actively seeking modern, innovative solutions um, and proven partners that really can support you know their their business ambitions and development plans. And I think this is where we come into our own. Uh, we acquired a business called Matrix IDM last year. Uh, it's a cloud native uh, solution. It's fully integrated into a single platform. We provide a lot of services as a, you know, as a service. That's what Rhymes is known for. And we've, we've married those two together. So clients can have the benefit of a cloud native um, solution, uh, 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 a modern data warehouse, uh, but all the benefits of um, a very high quality uh, uh, managed data service that delivers all that external market data in and marries that with their uh, their uh, positions uh, to to drive you know better decision making, more timely decision making. So, you know that's uh, that's where we're that's where we're focused, and we'll talk a lot more about that when uh, when we meet up in in New York. Yeah, absolutely, and that's a great overview. And I think a lot of these are such familiar problems. You know, whether we're talking about <laughs> the investment professionals who attend our events or the ones focused on data and technology, it's always the same: legacy systems, cloud migration, ESG. So it's really nice that you're 
company offers solutions in all these areas. And as you can, as you say, you can expand on this at the event and tell people a little bit about them specifically for each target area. Um, so that's really, really nice to set the scene there with you, Brad. And thanks so much for joining us. And obviously, we look forward to seeing you at the Summit for Asset Management East Coast on the 6th of October to sort of highlight this in a bit more detail. Fantastic. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining and we'll see you in New York. I look forward to it. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. And thanks everyone for watching.